All right. Here is another problem where we're given um, a bunch of likely unfamiliar measurements to work with, and we have to do some sorts of conversions between them. So when you think of a ton as a unit, most likely you think of two thousand pounds. You think of you think of a unit of measure. You think of a, a measurement of weight. But in this case, we're asked to think of it as volume, or rather, we're asked to think of a ton as a group of volumes, where a displacement ton is equal to 7 barrels bulk, a freight ton is equal to 8 barrels bulk, and a register ton is equal to 20 barrels bulk. And what is a barrel bulk? Well, it's a unit of volume, which is 0.1415 cubic meters. So in this problem, uh, we are dealing with units of volume that are apparently, I, don't, I can't testify if this is true, but the problem states it, uh, units of volume that are apparently frequently used in shipping. And so in, this, in the scenario we're given, we're told that we have spotted a shipping order for 73 tons of M&Ms. And we know that they're talking about volume, but the, the question remains, how much can we overestimate uh, the amount of U.S. bushels that we're asked to find the M&Ms in? So if the person who said they wanted 73 tons of M&Ms meant displacement tons, then how far off will we be if we interpret them to mean freight tons or register tons instead as a mistake? And the problem also asks us to specify the distance, uh, the difference in terms of U.S. bushels. And a U.S. bushel, well, 28.378 U.S. bushels, is equal to a single cube meter. This problem, this problem probably seems a bit confusing, given all the things it's asking. I mean, just looking at the problem itself, it's pretty lengthy. It's like a whole paragraph. Uh, but this problem doesn't have to be that bad, just as long as you uh, convert everything into a like unit. And what unit should we convert everything to? And now, because the problem asks us to get an answer in terms of U.S. bushels, it might be a good idea to convert everything into U.S. bushels right off the bat, uh, since we're looking for some difference in these values in terms of U.S. bushels. So because we're dealing with uh, a count of 73 tons here, uh, I'm going to do a conversion of 73 tons in each of these units into U.S. bushels, and I'll show my work as for it as well. So here I have done a conversion from... Uh, 73 tons in all three iterations of the four of the of the version of tons into U.S. bushels. So for 73 displacement tons, I abbreviated that as DT. Uh, that because that's a uh, seven barrels bulk per uh, t a displacement ton. Then did a conversion from one barrel bulk to 0.1415 cubic meters. Then did a conversion from a cubic meter to 28.378 USB or U.S. bushels. And that is about 2,052 U.S. bushels. I did the same process for freight tons and register tons, uh, except for a freight ton, that's eight barrels bulk. Uh, but doing that whole chain link conversion gets you uh, 2,345 U.S. bushels. Uh, for register tons, of course, it's 20 barrels bulk per register ton. Again, doing the same type of conversion, uh, you get uh, 5,863 U.S. bushels about. So now let's go back to what the question is actually asking. Let's go back to what we're actually trying to find. Now that we have all our units uh, consistent with one another and consistent with what the question is asking, now whatever the problem is asking will surely be much easier to calculate. And again, the question is asking that if the client uh, actually meant displacement tons, then how many extra U.S. bushels of, of the candy Will you erroneously ship if you mistakenly interpret the order as uh, 73 freight tons? So now that we have 73 displacement tons and 73 uh, freight tons, both in terms of US, U.S. bushels, and because the problem asks for about how many extra U.S. bushels, that means we'll want to do a subtraction here. So let's take... Uh, 2345 U.S. bushels for the number of uh, bushels in 73 freight tons. 
and subtract uh, from and subtract the number of U.S. bushels in 73 displacement tons from that, so that we can get how many extra bushels we would have shipped mistakenly. So that's going to be uh, 2345 USB minus uh, 2052 USB. And this is some pretty simple math at this point. I mean, it's subtraction. It's one of the most basic forms of math. And uh, I'll actually approximate. I'll write, actually write this as an approximation. And it gives us about 293 U.S. bushels of difference. And Part B asks basically the same thing, except it asks about how many extra bushels you would ship if we mistakenly uh, shipped off 73 register tons instead of displacement tons. So let's do a similar subtraction. So that'll be uh, 5863 uh, USB. minus uh, 2,052 U.S. bushels, if that's what they really meant. And I'm going to round the uh, three significant figures here because this is all more or less estimation. And it gives us an answer of about 3.81 times 10 to the power of 3 uh, U.S. bushels. And that is going to be the difference... That is going to be... Uh, the difference between uh, the number of bushels they want to have and how many bushels uh, we could possibly mistakenly ship off instead.